Okay, joined by manager Luke Garrard after a one-all draw at home to Barnet. Uh, Luke, how do you sum that one up? No killer. I'm not being funny. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll watch it back. We'll assess it, dissect it. No killer in front of goal. I'm sorry. I'm stuck it on Lee End Love after the game and said you need to be putting that ball in the roof of the net. We didn't. Within two minutes of the game being played, opportunities being flashed across their their six-yard box. Reese goes late on for a, uh, a 2v1 with Denon Lewis and we still don't get a goal from it. No killer. Then we go and get a dress rehearsal on chopping inside, wrap back zone, and Denon Lewis gets caught on the blind side. Fortunate enough for us that there's an um, offside flag to then exactly the mirror image of the, of the goal that was given offside plays out. It's not good enough. I'm sorry, it's not good enough. The way in which we handled that and not locking them down the line and going one for one and allowing them coming in, Idris Khan was good at it. They get a, a hell of a lot of balls into our box. In, in general play, they get a hell of a lot of balls in opposition's box. They get good first contacts and they showed that today, but we didn't lock the line. Rob Hall comes in, does one, and Ashmore, yeah, you can say great goalkeeping because it flashes through, but I don't think we're in control of the situation. Um, I can't remember Ashmore doing anything in the first half. I thought there was a lot of ascendancy in our half, and I, I know, I, in my head, I know what's happening. I know full well that it's going to bite us in the bum that we can't go and get the second or the third. And unfortunately, that's been the case today. And I can't question the boys' work ethic, but there's no killer. And I said it mirrors what we do throughout the week, where it don't hurt when you don't score a goal, and that's got to improve. Yeah, well, if you did say you started fast and um, looked very dominant in the first half, I don't remember Barnett having a chance. Does that make it more frustrating for you that, that they got back into the game? In moments in games, you've got to manage their moments better than what they do, and they've got to manage your moments better than what you do. We had a hell of a lot of moments today, like clear-cut opportunities, a one-on-one. -on -one. Newton gets away with murder because he goes on a one-on-one -on -one and it ricochets and he does the little lob. Um, great finish, great finish. He's got to be hitting the back of the net on the first occasion. Reese goes through, I keep saying it, it's just it's a broken record. I'm upset, I'm annoyed, because um, there is no killer. And I'm sorry, there needs to be more killer. We need to get goals into teams. Bushy does a great block round the back, free header, and we don't hit the target. These are massive things. I got the analysts to do all the stats for me yesterday in terms of our strengths and where we're getting goals from. And corners, we ain't getting enough productivity. I think we scored three goals in 110 games before to today. So what, you got another 10 corners? So it's another three goals in 120 games. So you're one in every 40. Ain't good enough. I'm sorry, it ain't good enough. And it's frustrating because I need them to know and understand that's two points dropped against the side that are going ever so well, but they've taken four points off us. That's personal to me. It's really personal to me and it ain't good enough. We need to be putting the ball in the back of the net because we had good opportunities to do so. And like I said, I watch it back, frustrated in, in the way in which we concede this, the goal. We're fortunate that they give the first one offside, but how you're given an, a rehearsal and then you don't go and do better is beyond me. Yeah, well on a more positive note, obviously you saw a debut for Chris Bush today. What did you make of his performance? Excellent. I thought he was excellent. For a kid that hasn't been training for three, four weeks, has come straight into our fold, and I have to say, was excellent. He um, he's a good talker, good care, good quality up the line. Um, he'll be good for us, Bushy. He's a leader. He's everything that I want in a player. Shame we've obviously lost Jammer uh, for a knee injury. We've got five, six days now in terms of getting him recovered for the Accrington game. But yeah, Bushy was a, a great positive. Um, Real good positive. I thought Kai Gordon come on and done it so well. So there's another positive. It's just frustrating that yeah, we haven't taken the win. We could have gone up to eighth today, eighth or ninth, and been a point out of the playoffs. And it's not all doom and gloom going into the FA Cup game. I think that's two points dropped today. Um, I thought we were very dominant in the first, start, first half. They changed their shape to cater that. I think we still continue. Yeah, they had the back end of the first half. But for me, not, not good enough in front of goal. And unfortunate, but that's what wins your games. They've not conceded in seven, I think it was, and we scored two goals against them in the last two games. Tells you that there is chinks in their armour, but we should have had two or three today. Minimum, minimum, but yeah, frustrating. Yeah, and then obviously just looking ahead to that Accrington game, what, what are you and the boys going to ensure you do this week to, to get prepared for that one? Probably finishing. We do it every day, seriously, every day. Every day I do patterns, unopposed, so there's opportunities to go and score. We do loads of little pictures and paint pictures for them to get into good areas. 
I thought our out balls were class today. I thought our seconds was class. I thought we played in their half, which I asked of them. I can't question that. But unfortunately, he doesn't I keep saying it. There's got to be a ruthlessness. The goalkeeper's laying on his back inside the six-yard box. The ball's bouncing and we don't score. That's a problem. It's a problem. And I challenge people to score. Well, I tried. No, you didn't try. Put the ball in the back of the net. That's trying. Because for me, we don't score enough goals and we need to address that ASAP.